Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, we are here with the one and only Waffle Brains. Yeah, and we are going to be watching a Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 gameplay with me. Uh, I believe it's 15 and 3 or something in Search and Destroy, which is pretty nice. I think I get air support. Maybe not. Yeah, I'm running support, which I don't like anymore. I liked it in the beginning of the game because it was a really easy way to level up. Because basically, you don't really have to even kill people. You can just capture stuff, and like you end up getting kill streaks. So uh, you get a lot of XP for UAVs, counters, and recon rounds. That's why I run it right now. Um, I'm not running it. At this moment, I run a lot of specialists actually because it helps you in the longer run, not in the sense of getting lots of kills, but it helps you in not getting as many deaths. That's a tip. Anyway, the way to play Soon Destroy in this game, first off, it's good to have a headset and uh, crouch around when you're falling because you can crouch jump, I guess. And you always want to pay attention to the map. The map is the most important thing. A lot of people forget that there's a little mini map at the top left. No, it's really important. Um, whenever you see a blip pop up, you need to, um, well, shoot it, I guess. I mean, I don't know how else to put it. And, uh, yeah, so the G36 is a really good gun silenced with extended mags. Um, I actually have a gold right now. Uh, this is a really old gameplay. I'm trying to get newer ones. Um, but my computer's just backed up with a ton of games. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, you always want to pay attention to where your teammates are in according to where you are. Because if you are facing one way and your team, and like you want to go into a certain area, and you see a teammate behind you, I like to use them as bait when you're playing with friends, it doesn't, you shouldn't do this but I like to use them as bait, you know, I tell them to go forward and then when they go forward they die as you can see, I died right there I was uh, pushing a little bit too forward without checking corners um... yeah, I just check corners I always pay attention what else did I want to say? oh yes, when uh... You are the last alive. You need to learn to not panic. Because when you panic, it it really just offsets your game. I find that whenever I start panicking, and I think I'm going to die, I end up doing incredibly bad. As in, like, I start going, like, maybe, maybe, I don't know, 6 and 5. So, it's important to not panic, and you always want to, like, if, let's say your teammate dies with the bomb somewhere, and you go and pick up that bomb, but you kill someone right next to it, instead of going to the closest bomb plant, unless you're, like, completely out of time, which I doubt you would be, um, you just go to a different one. If you kill someone at a bomb plant when you're trying to plan it, you need to go to the other one, unless you're out of time. A lot of things have to do with timing in Search and Destroy. When you're the last alive, you do things according to timing. You plant the bomb, depending on where you kill people, where the t other team predicts you to be. You always need to go to the opposite side of the map, or go somewhere else besides that area of the map. And silencers are always really good too, I know that, and uh, competitive matches, uh, they don't use suppressors, but in pub matches it's okay, don't worry about using silencers, it's perfectly fine. Um, it keeps your location, uh, less, I, I guess I could say, now those bushes are actually really important, and this thing right here, because you can see the enemy before they see you. It's always good. Um, it's also good to know that what I like to do, is uh instead of just calling in you know like kill streaks once you get them i like to do it when either my team or the other team has three that way if they have three and i call in my my uh kill streaks it increases the chances of us winning that was completely connection based it increases the chances of my team winning and if i'm also on three it increases the chances that we win the game then because if you give the team a chance to finish the game, then they might actually win. 
I know that happens to a lot of people. Uh, you know, so just keep in mind, you probably, even if you're like doing super well and you're getting so many kill streaks, you should end the game as early as possible. So A, you can play another one. And B, there's less of a chance that you can lose. Losing and winning are really important to me, as you can tell. But not as much as getting a lot of kills, you know? Because I like my KD. I like a lot. Now, this spot right here is good if you want to see over the, uh, the barrel that a lot of people like to haggle behind. Except for the fact that you're really open to the right and the left. And that could happen as well. Type 95. <coughs> anyway. So, as you can see, this these two idiots... Well, I don't want to say these two idiots, but this one idiot... I don't understand what he was doing or what they were doing. Why like, look at this guy, he just they're just continuously knacking each other and goofing off and it's really it's not very productive and that's he he deserved to die. In fact, I would rather him die than us win the game. But anyway, they both just got taken out by the MSR because it's a really good sniper rifle. You should try it out unless you really don't like sniper rifles, then don't do it, I guess. I mean, I don't really know how to explain what am I talking about. Yeah. <clears throat> so as you can see, this time, I I always go back to the same spot, which is a really bad mistake that I often make. Um, It's more often better that you switch up your, um, your routes that you take in the beginning of the match. So that way... Um, the other team less predicts that you're going to go to the same place, therefore you can go around them, which is what I do nowadays. I like to go around their whole team and just like, basically kill them that way. Oh no, I picked up the tiny, the type 95, oh no, yeah, that gun, okay. This is when I picked up the MSR because I really wanted to get a really good kill team at the, at the end, but I don't think I did, so, that kind of sucks. Now at this moment in time, it is two and two. I would have used my UAV, but I don't know why I didn't. I mean, you have to think that if you have enough faith in your teammates in order to win the game without like a really close situation, then I could obviously call in my UAV right now. And uh, we would find the last guy incredibly easily, and uh, our team would win. But if since I didn't have that many like faith, that much faith in my teammate, I decided not to because I thought it was the better option, the smarter idea, and uh, it worked out because we ended up winning this game. I think, possibly, I'm not sure. I hope we did because I'll be really bad at commentating if actually I already am bad at commenting I'm bad really anyway so I see this guy miss the first shot and when you miss the first shot you always have to clean it up because I could have died right then and there if I kept on trying to get a good quick quick scope at the end so I just finished him off with a G36 because let's just say I know that guy had an assault rifle and if I had made it it would be great but if I hadn't switch to my assault rifle I probably would have been dead unless I got like guaranteed that second shot on the guy and he died I would have ended up dying and you know I would have ended up dying I mean that's bottom line that's what would have happened and no one likes dying I don't understand why some idiots are always like oh you know I like dying, so just continuously kill me, and like, it's it's really dumb. That's why I don't like it when I play with my friends, and they're like, oh no, we like our win loss ratio to be super high, we want to be on a win streak, da -da 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 -da. but we have a two bar. Why, why would you play on a two bar throughout the rest of the game? It doesn't make any sense at all. 
But no, they just got stay in there, you know. Uh, it's possibly because I live in the middle of an ocean, and the connection is really bad. Anyway, that's the end of the game. I hope you guys enjoy. Please leave a rate, comment, subscribe, and anything. Oh, God. This, I hate it when I rush the ending. Please rate, comment, subscribe, leave a comment below on any suggestions for me at all. Or it coming to commentating or on any of my other series or just tips and tricks just in general. Uh, I hope you folks enjoyed yourselves and come check out my channel, you know, because it's a great place and you can have a lot of fun. Wink, wink, smiley face. Uh, and yeah, bye.